Hello. In this video, we're going to learn how to find art for our games. I'm going to show you three websites that I like, and I'm also going to show you a free program that can be used to edit our images. So the first one is Open Game Art. Uh, it specializes in game art, and it's all open source. I'm going to type in Knight. Then I'm going to refine it a little bit. I'm just looking for 2D art, so I'm going to unselect everything else. Then I'm going to do a search again. After I choose items per page, I'm going to set it to 144. And then I've got all sorts of choices here. Next, I'm going to look at Pixabay. Pixabay is great for free art. However, it's not always going to be game focused. So if you're looking specifically for game stuff, it may not be your best choice. But it's got a lot of things for a lot of different topics. Next is Google Images. Now, we can search and find all sorts of images, but we want to specify that we're just looking for stuff that will allow us to reuse it. So I'm going to say night pixel art, and then we get our results. Now, I'm going to go to tools, and then under usage rights, I'm going to get put labeled for reuse with modification. That way, I can use it in my game. The particular uh, artist that I'm going to be using is on Open Game Art Master 484. I'm going to be using his Knight and Orc sprite sheet, which we can see right here. And I'm also going to be using his Pixel Planets for items we can collect. And we can see it right there. And we can download the stuff here. Sometimes it's images, sometimes it's a bunch of images in a zip file. Finally, I'm going to show you GIMP, which is a free image editing program. I'm going to go to my file explorer here. We can see the sprite sheets I've downloaded. I've already cut them out into the individual sprites I want. I'm going to go take a look at these in GIMP. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say open with. And then I'm going to say GNU image manipulation program, which is GIMP. Let's zoom in a little bit. I'm holding control and I'm rolling the mouse wheel up. So you can see I've cut it as close to the edge as possible. Because we want as little background as we can because our bounding box, which is going to be our collision mask, is going to be whatever is in the image. So if you've got a white border, that's going to throw off your collision mask. This I've already cut it out. In some cases you may be able to find images where it's already cropped very close to the image and then you don't have to make any changes. To see the next video, please click on the link in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. And to see the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen.